What is true love? True love is not to be selfish. Is always to wish the best for others, regardless who the others are, whether your friends, whether your own people, whether the people that you join in the same race or religion, or all other people, to love everybody and to wish the best for everybody, regardless how they look, regardless how they speak, regardless how much money they have in their pocket, regardless where they come from, and regardless what they believe, because God is the Lord of love. We don't have, but if we work hard and we work you know, to diminish the ego, sometimes to step on the ego and to stretch ourselves beyond the comfort zone to reach out for others, then finally we experience love. And love is a state of consciousness, a state of sharing and caring for others. There is a nice story, short story. One of the masters of Kabbalah that lived um, 300 years ago in the Ukraine was walking one day with a student in the street. And they were talking about this and that. And uh, then all of a sudden, uh, a hunchback just walked by them. And the student was so horrified from the, the, the appearance of that, of that hunchback. It was so ugly and, and deformed. And he said to his master, did you see this ugly creature? And the teacher answered him, you know, I love this man more than you love your only son. So love is something that comes as a result of a lot of work, which is unconditional love. Well, another telling story from Abraham. Abraham decided not to have any meal by himself. He decided to ask any stranger in the town to come and join him when he wants to have his own meal. So one day Abraham, the great hero for humanity, the great messenger of God, sends his servants to look for a stranger, anybody, just to come and join him because he was so generous and he wanted to share his bread with others. A man comes in and Abraham offers him the food. And the man starts eating before offering any grace, before saying in the name of God. And Abraham was upset. And he asked the man, he says to him, would you please mention the name of God before you eat? The man looks at Abraham and he says, I don't know what you're talking about. Who's God? I don't know God. And Abraham was so offended. He says, if you don't know God, and if you don't recognize him, I don't want you to eat my food. The man leaves. And immediately God sent Gabriel to Abraham, rebuking him. God says to Abraham, Abraham, I've been feeding this atheist who doesn't know me for some 40 years. I never ask him to acknowledge me, to recognize me. And I gave him many, many hundreds of meals. He wanted to eat one meal from you and you turned him away only because he does not acknowledge me. Leave him alone. I created him and I love all my creation, whether those who recognize me or those who don't.